हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू वैलिडेट एच टी एम एल फॉर्म रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म यूजिंग ए जावा स्क्रिप्ट लाइब्रेरी विच इज कॉल्ड एज पार्सली सो पार्सली गाइज बेसिकली इट्स ए लाइब्रेरी इफ यू सर्च ऑन गूगल इट्स ए वेरी फेमस फॉर्म वेलीडेशन लाइब्रेरी इफ यू जस्ट सर्च ऑन पार्सली जे एस सो दिस इज द नेम ऑफ दिस लाइब्रेरी गाइज पार्सली जे एस डॉट ओ आर जी it's a very famous library form validation library and you can see that ultimate javascript form validation library it's very powerful and it contains a lot of <laughs> built in validators for validating username <laughs> email address password confirm password so we will be looking at a very basic example of how to use this library inside your application so let me show you a very simple example so we have these fields out there guys a full name email address preferred contact method and message so if i click validate guys you will now see it will basically contain this it will show these error messages that this field is required this value is re required this value is required and uh, this is a optional field so that's why we are not showing the value so at the top here you will see this form seems to be invalid so if i just write the full name you will see it will turn green here because i have written the value and <coughs> now if i now write the value here so now the error will change here this value should be a valid email so you can see the values are changing if i now doesn't write anything the value is required so if i write something this needs to be a valid email address so i need to include at the right symbol and then at the rate gmail.com so now this is a valid field so this is turning into green color instantly so now we have the radio button guys so you can even only select one choice here you can see that it will the error will go this is a optional field that's why you will see everything seems to be okay you can see that if i make any sort of mistake here let me put a special symbol here you can now see this value should be a valid email so you can see that guys it will this form seems to be invalid so this is a form validation instant form validation guys alongside with error messages so we are doing this using this library parsley js this is the ultimate javascript form validation library and for displaying these error messages for styling this purpose we are also using bootstrap as well guys you can see come, come on you need to enter at least 20 characters for the comment so as i enter 20 comment you will see everything seems to be okay so we are also using some bootstrap guys also and for making this application guys i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com so if you want to follow the blog post alongside with the watching the video and also if you want the full source code i will definitely copy this and i have given this link in the description of this video and also just uh, you can go to this uh, let me give this link in the live chat please hit that like button guys subscribe the channel as well if you are watching it for the very first time i am seeing that people are not liking the content and uh, let's start building this application and uh, form.html let me make this file and basically guys the very first thing is that we need to include all the dependencies so you will just type this title parsley js parsley form validation example we will do this and uh, for doing this guys we will need the jquery we will need all the basic libraries which are there let me just copy paste it and explain to you so basically guys uh, <coughs> uh, let me just uh, this is let me just paste it here so we will need the uh, jquery guys for this case we are including all the libraries the link is there inside the description of this video you can copy paste all the libraries these are the cdns we are including jquery and we are also you including parsley js this is a cdn library for this library we are in also including the css the actual document and the bootstrap as well bootstrap is also necessary for building this project guys for styling the input fields so after this guys we will now construct a very simple form so if you now open with live server nothing will be there it is currently empty so now we need to create the form here inside the body tag so basically here we will say inside our div section we will have a bs call out and we will have once again call out 
warning so these are these are all bootstrap classes guys so if you haven't seen bootstrap classes these are all bootstrap classes inside this we will have a simple h4 tag guys and basically inside this here we will display the error message which will be shown to the user whenever they submit the form and they doesn't enter any sort of value so inside the paragraph you will simply so this form seems to be invalid so basically if you now open this with live server basically this will be the styling here oh snap this form need, seems to be invalid so you can see that so sorry this needs to be bs call out warning and again if you refresh it you will now see basically this is a bootstrap class guys you can see it has added this uh, yellow background color so this form needs to seems to be invalid so we don't need to show this guys so we will add the bootstrap class of hidden so this will hide this field when we load the page similarly basically we will also be writing the same classes this time bs call out and uh, bs call out bs call out and uh, this time this will be info and inside this we will simply say here ye and uh, this will be for the success so if you have submitted the form everything is fine so basically here we will write everything seems to be okay <coughs> so if you now refresh it guys basically this will be there inside the blue color you can see that and also we need to hide this when we load the page so just add this hidden class of bootstrap so now you can see it will not be shown so nothing will be shown guys because we added the hidden class here to both the elements now we will be defining the actual form guys so we will have the form element we need to attach a id to it of demo form so we can target this inside our javascript so here we will have a simple label so this label will be for the full name full name field and inside this you will simply say full name and this should be required and uh, after this label guys basically we will have a simple input field input type will be text and here we will be giving a bootstrap class of form control and basically this re this will be required so you need to put this required symbol guys so required <laughs> nothing so just do this and now you will see a simple input field out there here you can enter your full name like this similarly guys we will have uh, the label for the email address and this time this will be for email and uh, this will be input type will be email and class will be once again form control and the, this should be required and if you now refresh it this time this will be email address you can see that and after this guys basically we will have a simple radio button and this will be for the contact method and here you will say that the preferred uh, contact method this is also required so inside this paragraph we will define the two input radio buttons so input type radio and uh, we also need to attach a name parameter here which is contact method and the value will be simply email next one will be for phone and input type radio name attribute once again will be contact method and the value will be this time will be phone so this will be if you refresh it now guys basically we have two radio buttons out there you can select any one of them at a time you can see that after this guys basically we will have a simple text area basically inside this paragraph we will have the label for the message and here you will say message this is the optional field so this is not required that you should write this so basically this will be a simple text area and uh, inside this text area we will give it a id of message and also a bootstrap class of form control that's it so if you now refresh it you will now see a text area as well so lastly guys we will have a simple input button input type submit and uh, 
<coughs> the value will be let me say register so you will now see there is a register button out there and uh, we can also give it a bootstrap class to it of uh, btn btn default so basically guys this will have a bootstrap class here of register so now we simply need to guys uh, you can change this value to validate because we are doing form validation so then guys we will be initializing our parsley library so just write this custom javascript code in order to attach so first of all for attaching this guys we need to add a attribute which is called as to the form element which is called as data dash parsley and uh, dash validate and this needs to be equal to nothing so we need to attach this attribute guys so this will connect the library of parsley to your registration form so let's do this and guys in the next step what we need to do is that if you now refresh it automatically if you click the validate button you will see all the values will be there you can see this value is required automatically with the help of this single attribute <laughs> if you see if you remove this attribute <coughs> nothing will be there so no connection is built out if you click validate no parsley validation will be done so with this single attribute data parsley validate guys you have attached to the root form element and now if you click validate these styling will be there automatically so you can see that it will turn to green and this value should be a valid email because this is the email input field so now this is a valid field and for the radio button guys i have haven't put it required so you need to put the required symbol here so just add these required attributes and once again your this value is required so now you can see that you can see that how easy it is basically to put the form validation it's a real time form validation and basically this is a optional field that's why no message was there and uh, if i try to basically guys uh, <coughs> click validate this should be a <coughs> valid field click on validate and what we need to do is that basically inside if you see <coughs> so this is your form validation guys and basically it offer it also offers various options uh, this parsley library guys it contains various attributes that you can give for form validation so let's suppose we are targeting the this text area we can attach a attribute called as data parsley parsley and this attribute basically called as trigger and uh, basically it will only trigger whenever you press the key up so we are atta attaching a simple event guys with this attribute and then the second attribute is data parsley uh, minimum length and basically guys you can also set the minimum length using this let's suppose i set 20 characters and similarly we also have for the maximum length as well data parsley maximum length like this so this will be for the 100 and uh, similarly data parsley we have uh, <coughs> for the error message which will be there so data parsley min length message so basically guys in this way you can attach error messages right in the html itself basically you can use these attributes special attributes that parsley provides you come on you need to enter at least 20 characters like this and basically now if you refresh your application and if you try to click validate and if i write something here you will now see come on you need to enter at least 20 characters so if i enter at least 20 characters then only the field will be there you can see that so you can see that So all the source code guys will be there inside the description of this video. So definitely you should definitely download all the source code if you are watching it for the very first time. 
please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well if you're watching it for the very first time then please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and basically guys we can also write this custom javascript code for showing this uh, header section just showing the status of the form so basically i can uh, copy paste this code here and try to explain to you what is happening here this is simply we are calling this uh, we are attach attaching it to the demo form you are targeting it by the id we, ha we have given this and then we are calling this parsley method here and here we are attaching this event which is field validated so whenever this is a special event which is available inside parsley library so whenever you trying to uh, enter inside the input field this event will automatically fire and this callback function will fire and basically this is the actual parsley error if the length is zero in that case we will toggle this hidden class we will show the info or warning submit and we also need to prevent the auto submission of the form so whenever the form try to submit we will prevent it by using return false so if you refresh it now basically what will happen the form will not submit and if you click validate basically the you can see this form seems to be invalid and if i write something i need to also enter the correct email address and also do this now you see everything seems to be okay now you can validate your form so in this way guys we have seen how a very simple library called as parsley it's very simple library definitely invest some time in learning this library and uh, thanks very much for watching this video